quite a long drive from Los Angeles. I've made it to Zion National Park and I'm uh, super excited to be here. It's been, wow, 10 years since I've been here and I just got a um, camping spot, which I was very lucky to get. I booked it up just a couple of days ago. I was lucky there happened to be, uh, be a spot available. But this place is full. Um, in fact, there's no parking anywhere <laughs> except if you have a camping spot. So I feel lucky to be here and um, can't wait to spend the next couple of days here exploring. So I'm hiking to a place called Emerald Pools, which is a very popular destination in Zion. And there's bound to be hordes of people there. Get a nice quiet place to set up and find a good composition. But this is an incredible location. Massive sandstone cliffs and contrast with the green trees is just beautiful. So I hiked up to the upper Emerald Falls or Emerald Pool I think it's called and uh, it didn't really quite work out for, for photography. There was a hell of a lot of people there, but um, I just couldn't find a composition that I really thought was great. I took a couple of shots that I liked, that had layers. Um, I didn't do a vlog up there. There was just too many people. So walking back from the Emerald Pools where I took a couple of shots but there were just a lot of people as I expected. So anyway I'm heading back to the road and certainly a beautiful place. And I'm uh, gonna go and get some have some dinner and then Go to bed, getting up early tomorrow to uh, be first on the bus for the Narrows, which again I'm sure will be quite busy with people, but I'm going to try and get a head start and get up the canyon a ways. Uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. So I was walking along the trail here, heading back to the, uh, the shuttle bus. I came across this scene with the river flowing there and it's the sort of the big canyon scene and um, I quite like it so I think I'm going to give it a shot here I'm going to bracket um, just because there's so much contrast and then um, blend them together but I think it's a beautiful shot with the river leading out there towards the, the red sandstone cliffs so I'm at 8th of a second F11 3 shot bracketed 2 second timer So the goals of this trip for me are um, fairly simple really. I want to check a couple of things off my bucket list for landscape photography. And one of those is to go to the Narrows. And I know I probably picked the busiest time of year to go. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. You just got to get out there and you know deal with the crowds but I'm sure if I walk away I can get away from most people but 
So I'm gonna go there tomorrow and then Antelope Canyon is another place that I've always wanted to photograph the upper canyon and I I've read all about the, the zoo that that's gonna be but you know I just want to get a couple of those shots maybe maybe they can make my website and portfolio you never know but just want to say that I, I tried to get uh, the, those sort of classic shots and when I'm in the, the page area I'm gonna try uh, um, for the horseshoe band shot as well which is another I know another well photographed location in fact it's probably been millions and millions and millions of photographs great photographs in that location so anyway those three things and once I've checked them off my list I can perhaps come back and focus on some other things but you know it's just one of those things that you feel like you feel like you have to feel like you have to do you know um, so, but uh, what a what an awesome place this is! Yes. Absolutely fantastic. And I've come back on a different trail, and it's it's uh, much quieter, which is really nice. Oh. Well, you know you're addicted to landscape photography when you think, okay, I'm going to go home. I'm going I'm to go back to camp and get something to eat because I'm starving, and then you come across a composition like this where I just thought it was magical with the river and the little rapids there with the bridge and the overhanging tree and the red rocks I just think that's just a such a beautiful image so we're going to try and give this one a shot and see how it comes out So with this shot, I'm actually, I'm going to cut off the top of that great big mountain up there. I think it looks better sort of cropped to about there, but having the river in it as well. So it sort of looks a little bit like that. And I'm at, uh, I'm at 0.4 of a second. And that should give me enough movement in the water but not not too much so it just sort of smooths it all out but just enough and f11 so just uh wait till everyone's crossed the bridge and then go for the shot so i've got a three stop soft grab on there as well just to allow me to take down the shutter speed to 0.4 of a second and uh i'm focusing on the the red rocks back there I want them to be super sharp and the water's going to be obviously uh, in motion and blurry anyway so don't need to worry about that so there it is two second timer I think this is probably my best image of the day there it is okay all right maybe now I can go back to camp <laughs> So I just had a feeling that there'd be something down at the river there for me when I was crossing the bridge. I thought, you know, the light is so great with, there's all the reflected light coming from those rocks and bouncing off of those rocks. Just like, uh, just like Mr. Ben Horn talks about, who, if you don't know who Ben Horn is, check out his channel. He's a uh, a brilliant large format photographer and comes to Zion every year and talks about the reflective light and uh, that's, that's, uh, that's exactly where it's at okay time to catch the bus and go back to camp